Hello everyone and welcome back to another Nax boss guide. This time around it's time to talk about Heigen the Unclean. Check it out. Before we dive deeper into this encounter, let's cover the bread and butter of this fight. Eruption, aka the green explosions you can see in the room. There will be 4 safe spots in the room for tank and melee. It starts from number 1 and it goes all the way to 4 or from left to right, after which it will go back from 4 to 1, from the right to left. There are two phases, you will start in phase 1, where first safe spot will be on position 1. During this phase eruption will happen not so often and you will have plenty of time to move to the next safe spot. During phase 2, or when Hagen teleports to his platform, the speed of eruptions will dramatically increase and you will have to move much faster, but still not too fast or you will run into one and kill yourself. This mechanic is, by far, the most important part of the fight. Not getting yourself killed either in phase 1 or phase 2 is all that matters. You can find the link to the GIF displaying 4 different safe zones in the description of the video. Now let's cover some other abilities that this boss has. Pay attention to how the boss is being tanked in this clip. The reason behind it is because Hygen will apply spell disruption from time to time, which will slow down casting by whopping 300% and punish your casters. The way to negate that is to have all ranged stack on the platform and keep the boss away from them so that they're never in range of this debuff. It has 30 yards range on 25 man and 20 on 10 man. There's one more thing to cover but first take a moment and check out where the green flares were placed in this video. Those will be extremely helpful to mark the safe spot for your raiders during the dance. Overall the dance shouldn't be too difficult, but if you had members struggling with it, you can use Aspect of the Pack to give you raid a speed boost, or increase overall DPS since casters will get their cast off easier with increased movement speed. Just remember that if you get clipped by one jet of the eruption, you will be dazed and probably die. Also if you stand on the platform next to High Gun, you will take nature damage from his plague cloud. There is an optional strategy where everyone stacks on the platform, rotates raid cooldowns and heals through his damage, but it requires a specific comp and more gear, so if you're fresh or undergeared you might want to do it the old school way and dance. Last but not the least, random raid members will be infected with decrepit fever. This disease doesn't deal a truckload of damage, but the catch is the 50% HP reduction. Make sure that you are removing it as fast as possible. Using Cleansing Totem will be extremely helpful, especially since it's party wide. I hope you find this video helpful. Like it if you liked it and smash that subscribe button for classic Wrath content. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Also, you can find me live at Twitch losing my sanity while raiding with Muppets. Link will be in the description of the video. And on that note, roll the outro.